Welcome to the Jamodi Podcast, where we interview coaches and leaders to find out not just what they do, but how they do what they do. Becoming the best version of ourselves is Jamodi, just a matter of doing it. What's your morning routine or favorite kind of daily activities that you do? Well, I, I am a morning person. You know, I think people are divided in two categories. You either get more done at night or more in the morning. I get more done in the morning. And when I was in college ball, that, that made recruiting hard on me because you need to make your phone calls at night. And mm. I, I like to shut it down at night, you know, and I, I did it, but it was, there was a lot of hard things I did when I was in college ball. That's, that's a hard. So coach, I'm keeping you up right now is what you're saying. Uh, oh, this... no, 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 <laughs> no, we're fine. Um, no, I get up, I, I get up every morning at four and I, I try to be in LA fitness. Four o'clock every morning. Yeah, and I go to bed decently early too. Yeah. But How many hours of sleep are you getting? Uh, about six or seven. Okay. Pops. Yeah, six. I get up before, try to be at LA Fitness a little before four or five, get my workout in. And this year I'm determined to do it throughout the season. I, a lot of years. I, hey. well, COVID, COVID hit me hard. I put on more weight than I've ever put on it. Let's, but let's I, text each other about getting those morning workouts in. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep you accountable if you'll remind me, like, hey, Matt, you're still doing it because, yeah, I'm trying to do that too, but keep going. And then I, I try to be at the gym by about 545. I open everything up, and then players start coming in at 6, and freshmen through varsity. And uh, we, we normally have a pretty good crowd, and they come in and they shoot from 6 until right before school starts. And I get, I just, I sit at the scores table, and I get a ton done. Yeah. Because they're just over there shooting, and I'll glance up and every once in a while. But, I, I just get more done in the mornings. Just there's no, you know how schools are. There's so many interruptions during the day. But, you know, at 6 a.m., you're not getting any interruptions. So I get a lot done. That I like. I just like the mornings. I like it. And then, uh, you know, I just open gym after school and stay up here and let them shoot and stuff. I don't, I just love doing basketball. I, yeah. I really, truly enjoy being here. And then I try to throttle it down at night by watching Netflix of some sort because if I keep thinking basketball, I won't sleep. Yeah. So, and have you watched Ted Lasso, by the way? Love it. Unbelievable. Love it. Coach, just be a goldfish. He's got yes, to be a goldfish. goldfish. I'm going to use that. Yeah. You know, I, I can't wait yeah. for the moment, the, the opportunity for that to come up, especially yeah. with shooting. Like, yes. I can, you know, you could, if I, if a kid struggles the first practice, because we talk a lot about, not just like I actually not, rarely talk about shooting form besides footwork and being prepared, but it's way more about what's in between your ears. And so oh. the moment that a guy shoots and reacts negatively, hey, what's the what's the happiest animal on the planet? I, I can't wait to bring it out. That's great. Yes, it, that's fantastic. It, he just every episode, it just makes me want to be a better person and better coach because the way he uplifts everyone around him, everyone. And you know that that quote that's gotten pretty famous the last few years, it's um, uh, culture eats strategy for breakfast. I mean, he exemplifies that because yeah. he didn't know anything about right. um, soccer. But it's, they, they're, they're, so good. It's a, yeah, people. we're going to play hard for all four quarters. Yes. Halves. Okay, all yeah. four halves. <laughs> Two <laughs> halves. <laughs> and he completely empowers his assistant coach. Yeah. And he empowers all the players. He empowers his leaders. That's just a ter tremendous show. So, yeah, I finished the last episode last night. So, Love yeah. It. You know who that he reminds me of a little bit is is Coach Drew. Uh, Coach, I, Drew yeah, Coach Drew had that relentless – positivity and optimism that when he first walked through the door you're just like nah it's not it's not real like it's not he's not really like this but then it just he hits you over the head with it every day yeah and so i i see some similarities awesome. there but um i love that love the routine 4 a.m that's something to work towards right there that's something well, to work towards you know there, i know coaches who are great coaches but just they get they work until 11, 12 o'clock at night. That's when they get more done. Um, yeah. You know, it's just whatever. I think your body, whatever your body clock works best at, you know. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti Podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.